So what we're going to look at now um, are the guard positions, okay? So the guard positions in Fiore, obviously there are other guard positions and other offensive systems where we practice Fiore, Fiore's long sword. So we'll look at his 12 guard positions. Um, and remembering, of course, that the guard positions give you a framework for how to move in this style of long sword fencing. They're start positions and they're end positions, and they can be positions you transition through. Okay, so let's look at the uh, high guards to begin with. So we've got uh, possibly Dodo on the right. Remember, any of these guards can be forward weighted or back weighted. Okay, for now we'll just take a neutral weighting. Don't worry about the weighting so much. Okay, so possibly Dodo on the right. Posta di Donna La Soprana, high, looking under the arm. Posta di Finestra, and Posta di Donna on the left. Good, okay, medium height guards. Posta Breve, short position, if you can see. Posta Longa, good. Posta Frontale, good. And Posta di Bicorno, good, which we don't use much. <laughs> Good, and the uh, four low guards. So we've got starting on the left, Dente di Cingale, the boar's tooth with the pommel at the rear hip. Okay, then sword in the middle is Mezza Porti di Ferro. That can be either foot forward. Okay, so we just change the to that. Any guard that's in the middle can have either foot forward instead of If it's a guard on the left, then you have right foot forward. If it's a guard on the right, you have the left foot forward. Good, okay, so we're in uh, Mezza Porti di Ferro. Then the Tutu Porta di Ferro, Fulla and North, um, and Coda Longa di Stesa, okay, the long extended tower. So going through those uh, 12, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, good, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4. Good, okay, what I want you to do now is run through those 12 guards by yourself, see how many of them you can remember, and obviously you've got the guards opposite to look at if you uh, get on the Okay, good, carry on.